Hi, I'm the Nomad Producer with StartProducingMusic.com and today I want to show how with the help of Dedi Hi! I've created the energy of a whole horn section. We're gonna use the song Bird School which was released on this channel a few months ago and try to create an arrangement that will just push the choruses a bit forward. We did get to perform this song a few times before and Dedi has a cool melodic idea which we'll just build over. So let's start with recording this basic low line and see where it takes us. Before we begin I'll just share we're using an AKG 414 EB mic. You can see my previous video about recording saxophone Phone to get more information on this topic. What if this ocean of emotion will drown me? I really liked how doubling the part kind of already made it feel a bit more like an ensemble. Maybe we'll just record an octave higher the same exact part? Yes, I agree. I think that the, the most simple thing to do and that gives a lot of power is to play an octave above. Uh, I think it will sound really nice. Let's, let's give it, let's give it Amazing. a try. Let, yeah, let's give it a shot. Cool, it really sounds great together, but maybe we can start this octave unison movement and then maybe split the parts, what do you think? I think that you stole my idea. Oh, <laughs> so unoriginal. <laughs> Alright, let's try doing this variation and see how splitting the voices can suddenly create movement in this arrangement. Let's do it. All right, cool. I really like this. Maybe we'll add another voice between the two octaves. Let's try. Let's try some more ideas. All right, let's give it a shot. This is great. I'm thinking about adding maybe a really high-pitched kind of call and response for the t -t 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 line in the end just to maybe clone a trumpet. You mean like... Exactly, exactly. Oh, okay. Let's give it a shot. Cool, I really like this as it is. I don't think it should get any more complicated than this. Let's now talk about how I would process this section to fit it in the mix. So the first thing you need to think about before you start processing is intonation. You need to think about how loose or tight you want the pitch to be. In this case, I felt like only the high-pitched channels need some auto-tune, but all the other ones I left natural because it's a part of the instrument's aesthetics. I've used these settings. It's very, very, very subtle and it doesn't do much other than just keeping it in check. The next thing, I've just cut all the low frequencies that have nothing to do with the instrument's tones below the fundamental frequency of the instrument because it's just rubbish, maybe air conditioner or I don't know, a truck passing by and has nothing to do with the audio. So you can see I'm not really touching the fundamental. And the next thing I wanted to do is to add some distortion. It's just flattering for horns. It creates more overtones that I really like. And let's see how this serves us. <laughs> So it adds this kind of thickness and it 
also helps with compression in a way. Lastly, reverb. I'm using a lot of pre-delay to create a distinction between the original sound and the reverberation. I'm using a pretty dark plate and I'm filtering the low frequencies out. So let's see what this is doing. So now it already feels like a section and the last thing I'd like to do is to automate volume and have it really react to both the dynamic of the part and the song. It's really important to note that when I do automation for backing parts, I listen to the vocal and not to the section itself because I want to make sure that it's not overpowering it. So this is the method, it's really simple and it's great for productions on budget. You can hire one musician and record him in your home studio instead of hiring a bunch and recording in a bigger facility. You can learn more about recording and producing on budget in my course, Start Producing Music, which will be relaunched soon. If you have any questions at all on this topic, please ask me in the comments below. Subscribe for more cool content and I'll see you soon. Bye! <laughs>